Once upon a time, in a land not too far away, lived a young rascal named Jack. Now, Jack wasn't your ordinary kid. He had a knack for mischief and a wild imagination that could rival the most imaginative. Hey dudes and dudettes! Check this out! I've got these magical beans! They're going to take me places, like the ultimate roller coaster ride. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. You see, Jack's ma was a hard-working woman, doing her best to make ends meet in this crazy world. One day, she sent Jack to sell their only cow, Bessie, at the local market. But, being Jack, he decided to trade her for something a little more unconventional. Ma, you won't believe it! I traded Bessie for these magical beans. They're gonna take us on an adventure like no other. Magical beans? Jack, we need food on the table, not some beans that may or may not transport us to a land of giants and clouds. Undeterred by his ma's skepticism, Jack planted the beans in the backyard, hoping for a miracle to sprout from the ground. And boy, oh boy, did he get more than he bargained for. Overnight, a colossal beanstalk grew tall, piercing the sky like a skyscraper on steroids. Jack's jaw dropped faster than a bowling ball down a lane. Whoa, man. That's one seriously massive beanstalk. It's like nature's environmentally friendly elevator to the stars. With adrenaline pumping through his veins, Jack embarked on a climb up the beanstalk, ascending to a realm where giants and magical treasures awaited. But he wasn't alone. He had his trusty slingshot in a sense of adventure that couldn't be contained. As luck would have it, Jack stumbled upon a colossal castle in the clouds, inhabited by a not-so-friendly giant, with an appetite for the bones of adventure seekers. Hey, giants! Hungry today? Fee, fi, fo, fa! I'm gonna eat you, so you better run. Fee, fi, fo, this is fun. Let's see who's the real giant when this game's done. And so, Jack and the giant engaged in a fierce game of cat and mouse, or rather, kid and giant. With every leap, swing, and shot from Jack's slingshot, he outsmarted the giant and caused a ruckus that rocked the clouds. Let's see if you can handle the magic of my slingshot. Oh! Hey, Mr. Giant, you're as slow as molasses in winter. I'll get you, and you'll be sorry. Better luck next time, huh? Struggling to keep up with Jack's speed and witty tricks, the giant eventually threw in the towel. You may have won this round, but mark my words. I'll get you next time, you little troublemaker. And with a pocket full of giant treasures and a heart brimming with stories to tell, Jack descended the beanstalk, bidding farewell to the land of giants and returning to the humble abode of his ma. Jack, you're back. And what on earth happened? You've got enough gold to feed a village for a year. Ma, you won't believe the wild adventure I had up there. Giants, slingshots, and treasures galore. It was like a dream. And so, dear friends, Jack and his ma lived happily ever after with enough gold to buy back Bessie and a whole farm. And let's not forget the tales they had to hand down to the ages. Because in a fairy tale world, those who conquer are not necessarily the smartest or the strongest, but those with an unshakable belief in their dreams. <laughs>